today's video, we start off by exploring Bodie State Park, which is a mining and ghost town a couple hours south of where I now live in Reno, Nevada. That's right. Goodbye, Pacific Northwest. Hello, Sierra Nevada. Bodie's one of those places that's always been on my list to explore, but for one reason or another, I just never made it a priority. And I am happy to say that now that's changed. I start off by heading down Highway 395. When I was a kid, I spent a huge amount of time exploring the area between Orange County and Lake Tahoe with my dad and my brother on camping and backpacking trips. Now as an adult, I find myself drawn back to the beauty and the mystery of this highway. The entire way is dotted with these old buildings and communities that have been long abandoned, fallen into disrepair, and will honestly soon be reclaimed by nature. This old barn is one of those buildings. I love it because it tells a story. You look at it and you can picture the people that used to live here and the animals that were housed here and the lives that used to revolve around this place. I decided to shoot this with my Olympus OM-10, which was loaded with a roll of Ilford HP5 Plus pushed one stop to ISO 800. Overall, I'm happy with this image. I love the grain and I love the contrast and just the overall vibe and feeling of how it turned out. Continuing on, I take the exit for Bodie and make my way down several miles of very well-maintained dirt road until I reach the town proper. I decided to load my one and only Hasselblad back with a roll of Portra 400. It's kind of like a jack of all trades and I kind of like the pastel tones that it offers for a day like today. I have to say I'm really happy with how the portrait rendered the gold tones and the dry grass in the buildings. I think it just ended up looking really interesting and warm. One of the big benefits of shooting a push stock like HP5 in the middle of the day is the added contrast lets me lean heavily into some bold shadows and come away with some images that are actually all right. Not all of these shots are winners, but I figured I'd put them up anyway just to show off how interesting this place is. In the end, I spent about five hours bouncing around Bodie, but the sun was getting low and it was about time I figured out where I was gonna spend the night. Also, the park was closing and they were gonna kick people out soon, so I had to leave. Uh, it's pretty early still. It's about eight o'clock, but I'm gonna get my bed ready and crawl in there. Um, hopefully fall asleep pretty soon because I would like to be up um, bright and early um, before sunrise. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my, my quilt and stuff up here and get my bed set up and probably watch a movie and go to bed. So that's pretty much the plan. All right. See you in the morning. Four fifty on Sunday morning. Uh, it's about twenty degrees out. This is the second time I've recorded this. The first time my um, camera died halfway through. The batteries are too cold. I thought by keeping them up here in the camper with me, they'd stay warm enough, but they're not. So nothing's staying on. So I'm getting up. Um, the goal is to shoot sunrise at Convict Lake today, and see how that goes. There's a lot of frozen condensation inside the camper right now which I'll need to deal with at some point, but not this morning. 
so I'm going to get everything packed into the cab and get going. Um, yeah, that's that. I planned this whole cool waking up montage and making coffee and all that stuff, but it's just too cold. I'm gonna I'm gonna get get going and uh, yeah, we'll do that a little bit later. <laughs> Welcome to a very chilly but beautiful morning here at Convict Lake, nestled in the Eastern Sierra. I'm about 20 minutes from where I camped last night, and I came here this morning because uh, I love this location. I, I've been to Convict Lake many times. It's super accessible. Um, anybody can come here and just walk down to one of the beaches, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of the main reasons I wanted to come here today was to not, not necessarily recreate, but um, Re, I don't know how to say it. There was a shot I did um, years and years ago when I was really just getting back into photography uh, that I, I always liked a lot, but I always thought it could be a little bit better. It was kind of, the lighting was a little weird and forced. And I always wanted to come back in the morning and shoot it. There's some beautiful alpenglow starting on the mountains above the, above the lake here. So I'm gonna get things set up, um, find my composition and uh, I'll get back with you and walk you through the settings, all that stuff. I've got this branch of this tree here in the foreground that leads up into the reflection of the mountain in the water. That leads up to the sun on the mountain. It's definitely one of those things where in my mind's eye, it's, it, it, it totally makes sense. Everything is like, um, everything lines up, but we'll see when all is said and done. We are at a third of a second at F11 and ISO 64. The morning marched on and I started my journey back north. On the way, I made the spontaneous decision to stop at Mono Lake. Stopping here was another first for me because I hadn't been here since I was a kid and it was definitely the first time as a photographer. It's a fascinating place. It has no outlet, which has allowed salt to accumulate and make the water alkaline. One outcome of the high pH levels is the formation of these strange and beautiful salt stacks along the shoreline. I'm definitely glad I stopped to look around and shoot, but this photo is subpar. I'm looking forward to coming back another day under different conditions and with a little bit more time. However, on the way back up the boardwalk, I shot what is now one of my all-time favorite images. I love this photo. I think the subjects are positioned well, they're mid-conversation, I think it tells an interesting story, and it's just dreamy. All in all, I would say this was a pretty successful trip. But as with all good things, this video must come to an end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the photos. I hope you liked the video. It was a lot of fun and I can't wait to do the next one. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, bye for now. Thank you.